The other thing I'm, I'm finding really interesting lately and as part of my research has been how it's part of our identity. The music is individual, wow. but also identity as social groups. In other words, genres of music ide- help mark who I am to myself and to, <sighs> to myself and to others. And that part's really, that's not so much about the music itself, but about how music is something that we use, like we use food and other things to mark our cultural and other identities. I think that's really fascinating. And music is a marker of who we are. In addition to its beauty, of course, that combination of those two things makes it even more interesting to me. Wow. I read a book by Tolstoy that he wrote in the late 1800s called What What is Art? Have you ever heard of this book? No, I've heard of it, but I've not read it. It's fascinating. He abs, I believe he absolutely predicted rock and roll. And actually more, more so folk music. But like uh, I, there's a story in Dylan's book Chronicles where he's in the village in New York and he goes into a club and Thelonious Monk is playing. Right. And Dylan, you know, of course, walks up to him during the break and he says, hey, my name's Bob Dylan. I play folk music. And Monk says, we're all playing folk music. <laughs> so I love that that all group. But Tolstoy huh. kind of recognized his thesis was that classical music, as elegant and as sophisticated and as amazing as it was, had reached a saturation point of in those days, production and uh, uh, just obsessiveness with how it was presented and organized and that he thought there was going to be a music revolution and he named it. He said, I think there's going to be a revolution in music and it will be folk music. Uh, It blows me away that he um, mass music. Yeah. And that it would, it would get away from, I think the, um, the the uh, the elitism and the sophistication that all became kind of embroiled in again as as wonderful as as it is i i listen you know to the classical composers and it just is overwhelming i love it but he nailed it and i love the story of um oh what was the man ralph peer right coming to bristol tennessee with his recording because they had saturated the the bands that they were recording in New York, so he thought, well, I'll go to ten, I'll go to the Apple Appalachian Mountains and find some music there. Anyway, I can't imagine what it must have sounded like to hear even rock and roll coming in a certain way. You could say even the big band came out of folk music, whatever jazz, but then for rock and roll to happen on the heels of that, I there's this great clip of the Rolling Stones on. Um, I forget the name of the show, Hollywood uh, Palace or anyway, Dean Martin is introducing the Stones. Ah, That's interesting. And when they cut back to him after they've performed, he just has this look on his face like, seriously, (laughs) you know, imagine. So I can imagine I can't imagine how primal that must have and uh, totally unsophisticated. But I I think I can get, even though I'm kind of, uh, I came to the Beatles later, you know, in my teens, but just how revolutionary that must have hit the world. Yeah. That, and of course it's tied to a lot of social forces, you know, like a a giant uh, teenage uh, population uh, demographic with yes. disposable income and there's i mean like a million things and then there's a lot of issues related to uh race and ethnicity because a lot of rock and roll was coming from african american artists who were not being represented right. and all that but and the beatles are examples i mean they loved and did covers of many many black artists and a lot of r&b that I, we had not heard at least uh, many right. of Myself and my friends, we we got exposed to them through them. And, of mm. course, it happened with the Brits playing blues and all of that. But aside from all of that, just the power of that music, you know, to to enter our, uh, our worlds is immense. And I'm like you. I mean, as soon as I started playing, 
I fell in love with it. And as soon as I started hearing these kinds of folk musics, if you will, you know, different kinds of musics of the people, mm -hmm. rebel musics, you mm -hmm. know, uh, that did it for me. Uh, and I've not changed. And there's been lots of those revolutions, not quite as big as the, but mm -hmm. punk, for example, was a good example. Uh, in the late 70s when it broke through with even more f folkness you know like <laughs> you don't even need to know more than three chords and you etc 